I love eggnog. Derek loves eggnog. Obviously eggnog is not vegan or plant-based, so I set out to make one, and I think I may have figured it out. To make this eggnog, you're going to need one cup of cashews, about a cup to a cup and a half of water, a few tablespoons of maple syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and some nutmeg. The making of this is really, really simple. Basically, you put it all in the blender. So I'm just gonna grab my blender. Now, if you're not using a Vitamix or a Blendtec or other high-speed blender, soak your cashews. And you can either soak them in boiling water for like half an hour, or you can soak them in just regular water overnight. Kind of important, it'll make for a creamier texture. I don't tend to soak them at all. I just, you know, throw them in and it works. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of van vanilla extract here, cinnamon, probably about two tablespoons of maple syrup. The amount of water you use determines the thickness and frothiness of your final eggnog. I've been experimenting with this and you can get a little bit more if you use more water and a little bit less, but thicker if you use less water. I'm gonna go with about, well, let's just see. I, mean, I usually eyeball it, to be honest. I'm gonna go with, that was, that was about three quarters of a cup. So let's go with one cup of water this time around. You can always thin it out, but you can't thicken it up. Yeah, that's one cup of water along with the one cup of cashews. I'm just gonna put that up there. Now in my best Alton Brown impression and nutmeg, freshly grated, please. How much nutmeg? Well, quite a bit. I'd say I used probably almost half of one of the nuts. This one was sort of used, so maybe a third to almost half. Hard to really say exactly, but somewhere in that range. And now, pop on the lid and blend this up. Okay, I let this go for about one full minute on high. It blitzed the heck out of it, okay? Normally, I would scrape down the sides and spend all that time, but just to be able to show you guys, I'm just gonna pour some into a mug. And as always, no recipe video would be complete without tasting it. Now this came out reasonably thick. I probably could have used a little bit less water if I wanted it more thick. It does take some experimentation to get it the way you like it. It does have a little bit of a froth on top. I'm good with that. It's definitely thick, okay? Don't let the uh, viscosity here fool you. That has some thickness to it. I, I'm really happy with that. It's very creamy, very rich. It's warm too, which is a little bit weird for eggnog, but I like my eggnog cold. But throw that in the fridge for a little while, obviously it'll get cold. Mm. Taste wise though, it's a little sweet, but not overly so. It's got the spices coming through really nicely. The cashew nuttiness actually comes through quite nicely as a, a milky, almost eggy thing. This came out really, really wonderful. All that it needs is a little bit of alcohol, but uh, we have a video on that on the Bruce channel. Link in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and happy holidays to you and yours from Cityster.